I just did a story about this whole Tim Ballard underground sex trafficking, you know, rescue program that he had. And I'm going to click that video below. But I see another article today about another associate of the same organization apparently felt the breasts, the naked breasts of an underage trafficking victim. The investigation states that Paul Hutchinson, who is also an executive producer of The Sound of Freedom, apparently touched the naked breasts of an underage trafficking victim during a 2016 undercover operation in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. This incident was captured on tape and the video was actually turned over to the Davis County Attorney's Office. They wrote detailed descriptions as part of the criminal investigation into Ballard and OUR with the FBI. But the investigation was closed without any charges being brought. In the videos, Hutchinson was expressing concerns over whether he could be prosecuted by Mexican authorities for the incident. He also made it clear in the video he didn't think that the video should be shown to the U.S. government. Now, Hutchinson never denied that he actually felt this girl's breasts. What he is denying is that she was a minor. He says that he had a sworn affidavit from a Mexican federal police officer saying that she was over 18. There's no suggestion that Hutchinson's behavior was aimed at anything but identifying exposing sex traffickers, but federal agents working extensively undercover with sex trafficking said that Hutchinson's methods ran contrary to best practice. Experts in the anti-trafficking field have raised concerns about OUR's methods potentially creating demands for trafficking victims. In this particular scenario, they go into a club with the traffickers. The traffickers bring down these young girls for Tim Ballard and Paul Hutchinson and the rest of the team to examine. So one of the sex traffickers takes one of the girls, uses both of his hands to lift up the female shirt to her shoulders, exposing her naked breasts. That's when Paul Hutchinson comes in, goes up to the female and lifts both of his hands and places them on each of the female's naked breasts. The girl then uses her hands to push down Paul's hands and pulls her shirt down. And then he leans in and kisses the first female on the side of the cheek. Later, it's heard on camera that another man says to Paul, I don't know how wise it was to grab that girl's boobs. And then another guy, these are all people in the OUR team, says, you didn't get that on video or anything, did you? And when Paul is actually talking to the U.S. government about this video, he says, the owner of the strip club pulls up one of their shirts and grabs one of Paul Stone's hands and places it on her breast so it's on the video. I just wanna find out if I'm gonna get in big trouble from the Mexican authority for touching a 16 year old girl. So he's stating that the traffickers forced him to do this, but on the documents from the investigators, they wrote the word lie. Paul puts both hands on voluntarily. What's also noted in the investigation is that Tim Ballard and his team continue to see images of women on the traffickers' phones and what they are saying, they, these appear to be older women in their 20s or 30s. So they are telling the traffickers that they want younger girls, which is when the trafficker grabs two of his females, telling them to go out and find la mas chicas, the smallest, the more young you can find, 16, 14, and 15. So that is the, where the biggest problem is, is that they are demanding younger girls instead of trying to rescue the ones that they have in front of them. Hutchison claims that 23 victims were saved in this operation and quote, some very bad men are in prison. I have no doubt that they have actually done some good, but they also claim to have rescued over 7,000 victims and there's no proof of that. And it seems that their methods end up causing more harm than good. So what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Put it in the comments.